Is that the police coming? Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, surrounded near Dallas, Texas, technically on the outskirts of Dallas, Texas, but in the city limits with police officers carousing around the area that I'm standing in. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there. And what says Valentine's Day better than a segue provided by me and provided by that police officer? It's a double segue day here on Happy Valentine's Day. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel, standing under this tree. It's the Daily Woo. I'm in Dallas, Texas today. Just checking out of the hotel. The guys are back there sleeping still. I woke up a little early. I came over to this location to show you something amazing that's an awesome tie. I thought, what can I do for a Valentine's Day video? And then I realized where I was and decided to come out here and show you a majestical spot, not really majestical so much, but a wonderful spot for historians and folk lore gurus like you and I and me that we live vicariously together. What am I saying? When you think of Valentine's Day, who do you think of? Who are couples that are intertwined forever in history like this? Thick as thieves, no pun intended. First person you would think of, the first duo you would think of would probably be Romeo and Juliet. But let's talk about someone a little bit more mysterious, a little bit more evil. It's an evil Valentine Day. I'm talking about Bonnie and Clyde. Do you know who they are? They were bank robbers, outlaws, and murderers. That's why that police officer was running for his life. He was afraid because Bonnie and Clyde, I believe they killed nine cops, nine police officers, and a bunch of, their, a bunch of civilians in their in-depth bank robbery tycoonness back in the day. They were killed in 1934, I believe, it's 1934, and right over here is the grave of one of those two members, lovebirds. They celebrated Valentine's Day, but not anymore, because one of them is right here, Bonnie, that right there, Bonnie Parker. That's the female of the Bonnie and Clyde duo. I know you've probably seen the movies, the old Warren Beatty movie. You've heard the stories. You've probably seen the new movie that just came out, the miniseries. But right here is her grave. People have actually put flowers here. She definitely has a fan base. The Bonnie and Clyde story is a pretty fantastic one. It's gone through the annals of history and continues to be one of those pop culture icons that will never go away. Bonnie and Clyde. And that right there is Bonnie Parker, buried right next to her mother, Emma Parker. Her mother actually outlived her by 10 years. So her mother had to hear about all of the hoot nannies that went on and had to deal with the death of her daughter, Bonnie Parker, who was married to Clyde, and they went on their tirade of looting, bank robbery, and murder killing mostly police officers, but anyone else that got in their way, even if you weren't an officer of the law, you might not have been safe. They got what they wanted. They were in love. Love makes you do crazy things. Have you ever robbed a bank because you were in love with someone? Well, they did. I don't know if that's the reason they robbed the bank. It's probably more for monetary gain or maybe a little dementedness in the noggin. But either way, Bonnie is buried right there. Clyde is actually buried in Dallas too, but not in the same cemetery. He's elsewhere. He's elsewhere, out here, somewhere, miles and miles away. They did not bury them next to them. I thought maybe that was out of a spite issue, but I'm thinking maybe she just wanted to be buried next to her mother. At first I thought they just buried the body separately for reasons because they just didn't want the couple spending an eternity forever right next to each other. They were in love in life, and they were together, thick as thieves, like I said, but in death, next to each other, they are not buried together. Unfortunately for them, the she gets to lay right here under this cracked dirt. Look at this dirt. It's very interesting. It's cold and crisp, and look at this. The weather is so cold and crisp, but the ground is breaking and crumbling right there.
she was pretty young, 1910 to 1934. 24 years. I've actually been to the spot where the massacre happened. They were shot hundreds of times. Her body was riddled with bullets. His body was riddled with bullets. It's actually in northern Louisiana, and I've been to that spot. I haven't filmed a video there because when I went there, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. I drove by. I took a picture. This probably been about a year ago. I would love to go back, go to the little area where they ate. There's like a little like museum now that used to be a deli that they ate at or a gas station before they cruised down that Louisiana road. And then they were like, they were hot, not hijacked, but they were set up by a family friend buddy they were staying with. And the cops were ready there shooting them. Bam, 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 bam. But I've been to that spot. I'd love to go back and hopefully one day do a daily video about where they were shot with bullets. They didn't use any dynamite. No dynamite was used, but there were bullets used on Bonnie Parker. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling now. I thought it'd be great to show you this. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. What do you guys think about the Bonnie and Clyde story? It's pretty fantastic. It's a folklore item pop culture item that will never go away. They are going to live in infamy. In fact, there's been movies made about them. Also, the Woody Harrelson movie, Natural Born Killers. Remember that movie? That was pretty much loosely based, non-loosely, tightly based on that woman right there and her partner that terrorized the countryside. So pretty cool. Pretty awesome to show you guys that. Like I said, I'm in Dallas. Getting ready to go pick up the guys. There's the van there. Going back to the hotel, picking the guys up. We're driving to Amarillo today, tonight. We're playing a tattooed festival. I believe it's called Inked Life. Just Google it. Inked Life Amarillo. The band I'm playing with, Guttermouth, will be playing tonight. I believe around 7 or 8 o'clock. I don't know. Just Google it. If you're in the Amarillo area, Amarillo area, just come see me out there. I'm not sure how much it is. 10, 20 bucks. I don't know what the admission price is. Just get a hold of me on the social networks if you're in Amarillo. And you can say hello to me. And if you're not going to be in Amarillo, you're going to be in Dallas, come out here and say hello to Bonnie. She's over there just hanging out. She's not robbing banks anymore, but she's just chilling there next to her mom. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to leave this majestic cemetery and hop in this van that does not belong to me cruise back up, pick up the fellas, and let you guys go. I only have two more shows left to tour, then I'll be cruising back to California. I'm going to be in California. Get a hold of me. I'm not kidding. Also, check down below for my t-shirts, adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. Get yourself an Adam the Woo t-shirt, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. You, sir! I'm going to see you tomorrow. And how am I going to see you tomorrow? Because you've subscribed up here, haven't you, sir? And ma'am, and child. I'm not sure if children have YouTube accounts. Because I don't really know what's, what, how old a, per, a child has to be to type on there and search, I'm going to watch a daily vlog. But you should subscribe too, child. All right, have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I love you guys, all of you. I seriously love all of you. Fingers and, and hands and little palms. Lots of love today. Happy lovey-dovey Valentine's Day. Goodbye.